girl welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kelsey but all my friends call me Kels girl I was gonna give you this whole little intro of me doing like my skincare and stuff but I literally only had enough time to put my contacts in brush my teeth and get dressed because the girls are up this is a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom with twins let's get into it So the girls have their milk so what i've been doing lately i've been trying to, to cut down their screen time so i've been trying to find more ways to keep them entertained while also keeping my sanity and don't get me wrong we love miss rachel in this house we love music and stuff like that but i just want to i don't want them to only watch tv so i'm trying to keep it like the first half of their day where it's like they're napping around 12 12 30 no screen times and unless like if we put something on for ourselves they won't watch it i'm talking like specifically for them i'm trying to push it as far back or closer to their nap time along with that i'm still making sure that i'm being intentional with my routines and making sure that i stick with my non-negotiables that i set so like i've been working out i y'all i'm so upset i had a 37 day streak on babble going and y'all, I, I, one night the girls were up and that night I was so tired I had forgot to log it. So I messed up my streak. I'm so sad. But I even did it whenever we went to Corpus. Like I was going strong and then one night I just forgot. You're already bringing stuff out the plate. Drink your milk first. Okay. <laughs> Good job. To make them breakfast. Um, we already had a situation. Parker is climbing on the, on. he has been climbing on the chairs to get on the table. And well, just a little earlier, she tried to jump on the chair. Yeah, I'm talking about you. And she caught herself. Yeah, she caught her lips. So I just sat them there away from everything. And that's what she wants. She wants to be on the chair, but Child. Anyway, so in an hour, Pam has a video appointment for her skin. If you don't know, she has pretty bad eczema, but we've got it under control, so it's kind of just like a follow-up appointment. Go to your chair. Go to your chair. Thank you. Good work. Amen. We are ready for our appointment for Cam. And then hopefully it's not super long so that way I can go out with the girls and get out of the house. It's only 9.30. 9.20. Whatever. She scratches really bad there. You're using it twice a day in the morning and in the evening. Mm -hmm. That wasn't very long though. Right. My goal over time is where we are using less. But again, if you feel like things really aren't turning around then we can kind of talk about other options that are available. Okay. The video, it's 9.31. 
It's 9.31, y'all. I'm not even joking, y'all. Granted, she did get on a little earlier. It's 9.31. Let's get out the house. Almost. Come on, the car's on. I will say, it is so hard to get out of the house, especially with two, but getting out of the house helps me break up my day. And it's like, you're not just sitting there and overstimulated. Well, yes, you can do that, be overstimulated in the car. It's just like, it just helps so much. Cause I'm like, once I get back, oh, it's already gonna be time for their nap. And then we already only have like the second half of the day. I have an energy drink here. I was gonna get a coffee, but the one that I want is really sweet. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna do that. Because let me tell you, my best friends and I are doing we are doing um, a Biggest Loser Challenge. So we're having like a girl, we're going on a girls trip in November. And so we're doing like a Biggest Loser because we all want to lose weight. So just to kind of like hold each other accountable, you know, and for motivational purposes. We, like the rules are you have to work out three times a week, minimum of 30 minutes, which I was doing, but I was only doing twice a week. So they put me up, so I'm appreciative of that. And second thing is, if you don't get in one of your workouts for the week, you have to put in $20 for a drink fund, towards the drink fund. Parker. They are literally monkey see, monkey do at this point. Parker, stop being a hater. A baby? Thing in me told me to grab an extra little doll because when we got to the cash register, baby, they did not want me to take them from them. Take the doll. So. I had to pull one away. But Michael's didn't have anything, so now we're just gonna go to Home Goods and hopefully that's it because it's already it's 10:30. Not too bad. Not but the fact that they were little black dolls, immediately yes, because we need representation. How how cute are these little dolls? They're like mermaids. I've never heard of this. Sparkle girls. There's other like white girls and stuff, but they had these little black girls at the top. So absolutely. But what I was saying is, even though it's only 10:30, I don't want to. I don't want to risk being out too close to their nap time because I yesterday I did that when I went to my mom's and they fell asleep. Fine, that's okay. But then I had to get them both out of the car seats and transfer them both to their crib. And that's just so hard. <laughs> it's just so, so hard. So if I can avoid that, I would like to. It's 84, but it feels like 90 something because of the humidity. I'm literally sweating. Y'all, the girls acted a complete fool in that last store. First of all, they started getting a little antsy when we were in Home Goods, and I was like, okay, we're getting a little sleepy. We might want a snack. Well, guess what? Yesterday, when I packed their snacks in their bag for, for today, and they opened it and took the pouches from in there. So I didn't have any snacks. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to run into one more store. So I texted my sister, and I was like, y'all know Kirkland's? I was like, do they have baskets? Because just like I did with Home Goods, I put them in the basket because I didn't want to take out the wagon again. And I was, she was like, I, they should. Well, I'm carrying them. They don't have any baskets. So I'm carrying them, and then I'm trying to put them down so they can walk, and I'm holding their hands. Parker doesn't want to get down. Then they didn't have no mats. I was just like, you know what? Let's go. Then on the way home, people were falling asleep, and I was like, not on my watch, not on my watch. So we were rapping. We were singing, but we made it. We made it home, and now they're just eating a few snacks. They have their babies that they got. It did come with like little shoes and stuff, but I took it off just, you know, choking hazard. Mm. Now I will probably yeah. like let them play with some toys. What's this? And nothing. 
Bunny is about to orbit the Earth until, oh no! The DJ, he plays the latest hits. Party with the plan. Wiggle like an apple head. Get the real hair. Good job. It's about 12.45 and the girls are in their room. They're in, obviously in their crib, but um, they're still up talking and they'll just kind of talk until they go to sleep. They're very sleepy, very, very sleepy. I didn't record it because I don't like whenever they're like crying, crying, crying and like showing that because why you gotta see that? You know, kids throw tantrums and stuff and you know when they're really sleepy, you know, it is what it is. You you get what I'm saying. Like Cam was like, she's ready to go to bed. Well now they're up talking. So whatever. So technically their nap has started, but it hasn't. It's already almost like I said, one o'clock. So I'm about to clean up, just throw these little toys that they had, and then literally just do nothing. Because I am tired. I honestly should have saved that energy drink till like right now. I might make a coffee. I should take a nap, but I'm not going to. I just edited a video on TikTok. And baby, the way I am going down this rabbit hole of Diddy stuff, oh, is so bad. I should be part of the FBI right now because I am. I should be like on payroll. The way I am investigating. Um, it's a complex relationship, and it it like. Usher's arrangement with Diddy, Bieber lived with Braun. Um, real quick, uh, before, and I'm gonna do this very, very, on, on as high level as I can, and I'm gonna, again, reference the link that I'm putting in the bio. Go. So I said I was just gonna chill and rest while they napped, and I did the complete opposite of that. I was on the phone with my mom for, since 1.30, it is three o'clock. <laughs> it is three o'clock, we were debriefing on the Diddy stuff and just talking about all the chaos. And then I was cleaning. And then I was like, I have a little sign out front that I put out that's like fall decor. And you can't see it because the branches were so low. So I went and clipped the branches. And now it's time to get the girls up. But it's okay, I was productive. I don't feel tired or anything. I probably will make a coffee just because. But anyways, let me show y'all. Um, I got this candle at Home Goods. Paola actually told me about it. First of all, I love, remember I told y'all that honey butter, apple butter, whatever. Apple butter candle, it smells so good, but it looked ugly. This is a pretty candle. This is nice. Like this is like some decor and it smells, it's like in the same family as like mahogany teakwood. It's called vanilla cedar. It doesn't smell vanilla. It smells like a man. It smells like foresty. It smells so good to me. I love this. I will be lighting that eventually. Because his name is P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Puffy Combs, and histrionics going on. Because as I said, you need to follow the money. Hello. What's the problem? What you crying for already? What you crying for already? Huh? Did y'all have a good nap? Was that a good nappy? Yay. Yay. Was that a good nap? You ready to eat some papa? Papa? <laughs> Bring it to you. Clean up. Come on. Thank you. Thank you so much for cleaning up. Oh. Are you on the phone? Who's on the phone? Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Someone please look at this child. What? Come on, girl. Ketamine and caffeine, and those made together, is, I'm unable to sleep and anxiety. But because there's, you can't live without it. Let me know what else y'all found out about the pink powder, and we'll check in again soon. I have that a four piece so spread and hard lemon. I just want to make some coffee. This is how you know I need some coffee, bro. I was, my coffee was made, right? I was getting some ice, and in my head, I was like, let's crush the ice with a cup. And I hit the ice with the cup with the coffee in it. 
and the cup with the coffee in it is plastic. Oh gosh. Wow. I'm making the girls dinner right now and while I do that, because they want to be in the kitchen with me, I'm going to turn the TV on now. I will say, I don't think I will ever have like days where I like consistently don't do any TV. There's another one. We are trying to work through sharing right now and baby, it is a time. It is a time indeed. If you have any tips for me on twins and sharing and all that, please let me know. But what I was trying to say was I don't think I'm gonna ever have days where like I don't do, like consistently do like no screen time because that's just not realistic for me. I like to watch, you know, have things play on, the play in the background and things like that. So this was just like kind of one off. But I would like to try and keep it to like before their nap time, no screen time. So that just means getting out the house more. So I'm gonna go ahead and put something on YouTube and they're gonna go crazy. Whoa. They're like, finally, girl. Ooh. up their dinner and I had seen this um, little thing on TikTok and it was giving like curriculum for babies actually where is it, Move it. Ah. <laughs> it's right here um, and it's basically things that will help your it's like a curriculum but for infants and toddlers so it's literally just like sensory play and stuff but it helps you create like a schedule if the things to do like as if you were in a daycare have things set throughout the week of things that we can do so today we did story time we did sorta the body part song because i still got to learn it and if i'm not looking at them singing it they're not going to pay attention to me now for cognitive learning is texture touch so i saved it after their dinner because it's literally putting pudding on their high chair and letting them you know play with it and it's safe because obviously they can eat it so i just noticed when i went into the pantry that they never gave us our yogurt. I mean pudding. Never, they never gave us the pudding like in our bag. So I'm just gonna use yogurt. link to the little sign up or whatever in the description box in case you want to have some ideas i mean obviously you can go to pinterest for this and figure out like oh toddler activities like non-screen time activities but i just feel like this helped me so much it helps you like plan no you remember what happened earlier no 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 and i feel like it just helped me a lot more um so it breaks down let me show you you can see here it breaks down the different types of learning so it's cognitive language and communication physical health and motor and this also gets broken up into gross motor and fine motor skills social and emotional story time and then art exploration and then this is like the body part song i'm doing throughout the week and you know just things like that and i think it really really helps and it helps you with a goal for each week no get down get down uh-uh and obviously they're not going to learn and 
a grasp i mean maybe they will but it's not meant to be like they will achieve this by the end of the week which is cool it's just kind of like oh these are some milestones that, we're cooking, that we could be hitting no parker you're gonna hurt yourself no no listen to mommy no she's shaking her head no and telling me no like she understands Anyways, I don't know. I, it just makes me feel like we're not just watching TV all day and we're being productive in some sort of way. Now, I'm not trying to be like absolutely no Miss Rachel because Miss Rachel is on right now. And we're about to get ready for bath time because I cannot. Oh my God, look, she's cutting her hair. All right, y'all, so it is eight o'clock. The girls are down. Today was a little hectic, I'm not gonna lie, but getting out um, really helped break up the day. Cutting down on screen time has been, was a challenge, has been a challenge, will continue to be a challenge, but little small changes will help. Again, getting out helps because the only thing is being mindful of when their nap time is if you don't wanna get caught. <laughs> trying to transfer it's all about balance and i'm figuring it out one day at a time so thank you so much if you made it this far thank you for following along our very chaotic but realistic day don't forget to like comment subscribe share all the things and i will see you in the next one friend later